guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do a video on my favorite baby products from six months to a year. So this is gonna be like the big stuff and little stuff too. Car seats, strollers, high chairs, uh, bibs that we love, binkies, clothes. I also did a video like this for when they were newborns. You wanna come here? The girls just woke up and had their milk. So if you have a newborn, I will link that video down below for you if you're interested in that. You wanna say hi, dude? Look, look at the camera. Say hi. Good job. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys with me just kind of around the house to show you where certain things are, where we have things. And yeah, it's gonna just be kind of vlog style. I feel like it'll give you a better sense for it. And I'll just give you little reviews on things that we like. So with that said, I hope you guys all enjoy this. And let's get started. Okay, starting off, let's talk about toys and books. So in this basket, this is from Home Goods, and I keep all of their books. I get a lot of them from Marshalls, Amazon, Home goods, just kind of anywhere. We also got a lot for our baby shower. We asked for a book instead of a card. So they love books. We go through them very fast. I have some in their room as well and I kind of just rotate them. This activity center is from Amazon. I actually got a different one, but it's at my mom's house right now. She switched this one with me because she sanded down the edges because it was super sharp when I got it, but they love it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's She likes to look at herself on the other side. They really like this. At first they had to really watch them with it because they would fall a lot more, but now um, they're a lot better. Over here I keep a little basket with little toys because this basket is where we keep their kind of bigger toys. This is from World Market. I get so many of you guys asking where this is from. And if you're wondering, that little poof is from Joss and Maine. Or actually, I think that's from Overstock, but they have them on both places. I love this basket for their toys, but what I found was happening was all these little toys would fall to the bottom of the basket, and they love just little toys that they can hold on to. So I just put all the little ones in this smaller basket so they can reach everything. Okay, now that our house is already a disaster, let's show them some of our favorite toys, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so as far as like big toys go, we like these balls. Um, these were given to us, but I'll find them. So they like to just kind of run around with them and throw them. Huh. Another thing they like is this cube. It does a bunch of stuff. You can turn it on and it'll make music, but they like carrying this around and playing with that. They also like these types of toys. I found these at Bye Bye Baby. Does this move too? Oh my gosh, this comes off. I did not know that. But you can stick this to like a flat surface, but they tend to just rip it off. But toys like this really keep them entertained. They like to carry their toys places. They also love these uh, fake phones. We have one from, oh actually they both are Leapfrog. Violet likes this one because it says hi and she mimics it. And this thing I got from Bye Bye Baby, it's nice because it's soft. So you can stack these on top. And what I do is I just stack them and then they'll come and take them off. And we like to use them as hats too, huh? There you go. Nice little hat. Oh, what are you digging for, Violet? What are you trying to get? What's down there? Huh? Oh, you want your phone. Okay. And they love this little shaker. I found this at Bye Bye Baby too. They have really good toys there. And they also love these animals. They're from Bye Bye Baby and they're these little rubber bath toys. It comes in a pack of like nine and we bring them everywhere. They like them in the bath obviously, but I keep some out here. They take them with them in the stroller and they're just awesome. One other thing that they really like, okay, we'll read it, is this uh, remote control. And this is by Fisher Price. My favorite bibs that I've tried are these ones from Copper Pearl. I like that they have really cute designs on them, but they're, they just work. So I actually prefer cloth bibs now. I've used plastic ones and to me, I'd rather just wash them than have to 
wash them in the sink every single time. Like I'd rather just throw them in the laundry because I'm doing laundry so frequently. Here are two other prints that I have. They're kind of dirty right now, but I just think they're really comfy. They're kind of thicker too. So definitely recommend these. Here are the chairs. I have these draped. These are again from Copper Pearl and I take these. Oh my God, June's pulling my hair. Okay, you got avocado in my hair now. Thank you, nice little treatment. Great. So these I use as high chair covers when we go to any restaurants. You could also use them over your carts, like your shopping carts and your car seats. I just never did that because with the two of them, I feel like it's just one extra step. So for me, I just use them as high chair covers, but I just think they are so cute. Moving on to some snacks and then food items that I love. And if you follow me for some time, you know that we love the Happy Baby Organic Creamies. The girls eat them up so fast. I take them everywhere with me. I just put them in a little snack cup so these don't get smushed or I'll just take this. Uh, this is the strawberry, raspberry, and carrot. And then this one's the apple, spinach, pea, and kiwi. These ones are great because they're dairy free. So if you don't want to give dairy to your kids, then you can try these ones out. They're freeze dried veggie and fruit snacks. And they're these little circles that melt in their mouth and they just love them. Here are some more that I just picked up because we were running low. So this video is in sponsorship with Happy Baby. They saw that I talk about them a lot and wanted to reach out and send the girls a really nice care package of some of their products. I've gotten a lot of you guys asking where I get them. I find their stuff everywhere. Vons, Ralph's, Targets, uh, Sprouts, and also on Vitacost. I also have the yogurt ones. This is the, these are called the Yogi's. And then here's a just a different flavor. Also like the puffs, these are great for breakfast too. I'll just kind of throw some of those on their tray. And they also like these teethers. So I give them each one of them. They come with two in a pack. And I think it feels really good in their gums. They're teething really bad again right now. And this kind of just dissolves in their mouth. And it's a nice little snack to give them before it's time to put them in their high chairs. I just started getting the stage three pouches. They're a little bit thicker. This is the root vegetable in Turkey. And they both dropped their little things. Let me show you what I do with them now because they started refusing to let me feed them anything. Little stinkers. Kyla, gross. Now I gotta wash these. They're almost done, so they're really messy, obviously, and they're getting ready to get out of their high chairs. So you can put ice chips in there, frozen blueberries, frozen fruit, just so it feels better on their gums. I randomly put their food, like their pureed baby food in them one day to see if they'd eat it. And they just ate it so quickly. So now, to get them to eat like a more of a wide variety of foods, I like to give them a pouch every time I feed them. All right, every time I feed them, I feel like I run out of ideas on things to feed them. So this is an easy way to give them like a wide variety of foods. So here are the high chairs. These are by Nuna and I have the brown color. They also carry this in a charcoal gray and purple. I think they might have some other ones that they release, but those are the ones I know for sure. So the straps go through these little slots. I have them out just because the girls would get them so messy. And the one thing I don't like is that it kind of keeps them back. So there's all this space for food to drop. So we just have them out for now. And I just stay by the girls when they're eating. So this tray comes off right here. There's a little slats. And you can wash it like that. I usually just wash it just leaving it on. Um, and then this is kind of like a spongy material so it's comfortable for the girls but it's easy to clean off so it's not fabric or anything this is all easy to clean i like these a lot because they're really heavy so when the girls are walking around and leaning on them they're not going to fall over i did get the ikea ones too because i liked how they look but they're super lightweight so these are just a lot more durable and i just feel like they're a lot more safe and i also like that they just kind of blend in with the rest of our house. Moving on to Gates. This one is by Munchkin. You can find this at Target on Amazon and this just lifts up and you can pull it back or forward either way. And I believe you can find this at Amazon. I think ours, we got it at Target, but it works really good for that space. And this Gates from Amazon, it's by Regalo and it has a little gate opening here if you want to use that. We don't use it. 
but you can twist these knobs any way so that these bend and it kind of can just fit into any room wherever you want you can also just make it into a circle and you can screw in the sides to the wall if you want that we need to kind of just have it tucked away so we've been really liking this i don't know how much longer we're gonna have it up but we've had this up for a couple months now and yeah it's worked out okay next i want to share with you guys this pack and play this is a double pack and play i want to show you what it looks like when it's all folded up first this is called the romp and roost so we let me zip unzip this first okay so it opens up really easy you just have to make sure it's this isn't down the center part's not down you just kind of click all of them up Ugh. Then you push this down. Voila. And the other cool thing that this has is a divider. So if you want to divide the section off, if you guys have twins and you want to use this for sleep, it comes with this. This is the bottom. So that'll lay over the mattress. And then right here is this little mesh divider that you snap to either side so then you have you know two sections i ended up using this mostly for play i found that it was really they don't use it now obviously because they're all over the place but before they could walk when they were it was kind of before they were even standing i would put them in this if i needed to do something like cook or run back here to grab something i would keep this in the living room and it was like a little safe zone and we loved it. We got so much use out of it. We'd throw a couple toys in here. I had just a normal size pack and play in the beginning when they were really little, but they outgrew that super fast. So if you're wanting a pack and play for both of your kids, if you have twins to play in together, you need something bigger. And it's so hard to find a double one. I got so many of you guys asking where this was from when we were using it because again, it's like, I feel like there's not a ton of things that are made for twins that are just big enough to you know work for both of them. So sometimes we would fold this up and just kind of tuck it away behind the couch. Other times we would just leave it out. But honestly, we got so much use out of this. I would definitely recommend you check this out. I think it's amazing. Okay, I wanna show you guys our stroller next. I took it out of the car because I wanted to show you how I take it out of the car but our driveway's at an angle, so it's super hard to do that there. So I figured I'd just take it out here. So we have the second seat attachment, which is these things. And you, it recommends the company taking these off every time that you put, fold your stroller back up. Personally, it's an extra step that I don't wanna do, so I leave them on. But just be careful because you don't want these to bend because then you're kinda screwed. So this is how I have it folded in the car all the time. I have it obviously this way so that these stick up. I pull it up and I turn it. I don't even know if this is technically the right way, but this is what I do. And then I take the second seat of the car and this just kind of clicks right in here. I can see it, there we go. And then there you go. So you can do it just halfway if you want or all the way down if you need extra coverage. I have this from Skip Hop and I like it because it's soft so I don't have to worry about it breaking. I can stick cups in here, my wallet, keys, phone. It works really nicely. And then I have mine up like this but if you want you can put it down. And then down here is the basket. It's pretty deep and then also there are two pockets on both seats. And I just really like it because it's so easy to maneuver. Like the wheels turn really nicely. And even though when you're pushing it, it feels like it's humongous. Whenever like Andrew's pushing it, it doesn't look that big. So I feel like for me, it looks big, but I don't know. I'm really like used to using it now so I can really maneuver it. And then down here where the footrest is, you can push this button and it goes up or down, I have it kind of like halfway. Also wanted to show you guys this stroller. This is by Evenflow and it's nice because it's very lightweight. So if you want a lightweight stroller for travel, I'd recommend this because it's super affordable. 
but it's just easy to use. And when we went to Nashville, this is what we took with us. And there's a little bit of storage down here. And these are the little brake things. So you just, or that's the brake, but you just flick these up and then you pull right here. And then that pulls the whole thing up. And then the handle is right there so that it, it becomes just kind of like a compact um, piece and then you can just hold it by the handle and it's pretty easy Then there's these little umbrellas and we just like it for walks because it's really convenient so they're eating their little teethers by happy baby right now they're teething really bad really bad okay next i wanted to show you guys our car seat so these are the maxi cozy Priya 85 Max. Super windy outside, so sorry about that. But I have it in the Nomad sand color, and I like it because it matches the rest of our car. So here is the closure, and then to release it, you just press like that. You press it together, and it it's like magnetic. And then it has the normal little um, clips down at the bottom. Here are the pacifiers I like to keep in the car. These are by Etsy and they're nice little teethers. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be these, but I like to have something in the car for them just in case I forget. Um, but this car seat is amazing. I love that it has a cup holder. I can always stick like over there. There's a little animal stuffed in there. So this is just, it's so plush and comfortable for the girls to sit in. It also grows with them as they grow. So we're gonna have this for a really long time. You can have it rear facing as long as you have it at a certain angle, it shows it on the side. And then eventually we'll be able to turn this forward facing. But whenever we take the girls anywhere and somebody comes to our car, they're always so impressed with these. You can take this off if you wanna wash the whole thing. I've just spot cleaned it before and it cleaned pretty well. And I always keep these in the car. There's a Pooh Bear one over there. I like these in the car because they're so big. So like little things that the girls drop, then it just falls down to the bottom. But these don't ever really fall. And there's a bunch of little things on here that they can play with. So I definitely recommend getting something that's bigger that they can always, you know, have on their lap just in case they need it. And then the mirrors we have back here, I got off Amazon. The company is Cozy Greens. And I used to have them horizontal, but I, I moved them vertical just because I feel like I can see the girls a lot better. So we really like them. Okay, moving on to clothing. So a couple stores that I love are Zara, Old Navy, and H&M. Target, I feel like, is very hit and miss, and it's hard to find the same size. So let me show you a couple tops that I absolutely love. Well, this dress, don't touch the tripod. No, 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 Violet, no. Violet, this dress is from Old Navy. I love their cotton uh, cotton dresses. They're comfortable for the girls and they can wear them for a long time. Uh, right now, I'm getting size 12 to 18 and also 18 to 24. Don't lock your sister out. That's not very nice. Here, this is from H&M. I love all their mini stuff. They have tons of mini tops and the girls love her. So this came in a three pack, I believe, of t-shirts or maybe a two pack. So uh, H&M is good for that type of thing. Their sweatpants, I have a lot of sweatpants from H&M. They run huge. This shirt's from Old Navy. I just got this. This is size 18 to 24 months. And it doesn't look that big to me. So I feel like now I'm getting things definitely a little bigger than I would normally get because they grow out of stuff so fast. And stuff shrinks. So Old Navy has... Some really cute floral tops right now. These ones are from Old Navy too. And I also like that Old Navy has a lot of the same styles of things but then different colors. So I can dress them alike but not exact, exactly the same. And Zara, hey, hey, hey. Zara has the cutest tops for so inexpensive. Some of their stuff is pricey, but you can find things that are really affordable. So I think most of these were under $10. If you just look through their stuff, some of their tops are $7. It's crazy. So here's a couple that I love. But again, they kind of shrink, so maybe order a size up. I love just like the detailing on their tops. They're, they're a little bit more unique than some other places. I have this in charcoal gray too. So I got a couple of the mustard color. I love like, look how cute this lace is and the little pocket. And then they, a lot of them have these little wooden buttons on the back. Just really different things. And the quality is really good. Like the actual fabric is super soft. 
I love this one so much. So definitely recommend Baby Zara. Okay, and let me show you the pants I was talking about. So these ones are H&M, they're the joggers. And they just are really big, and these are size 9 to 12 months. So it's kind of like I have to get a smaller size than tops than the pants. But I'm thinking now that I look at them, I think they're just more of like a baggy fit. So they might fit them now. But these ones, again, are 10 or 9 to 12 months. And I put them on the other day. They were so big on the girls. But these are leggings, like the knit leggings from H&M, and these fit them great. So I think you just have to kind of look. It's just a little hard for me because I order most of their stuff online since it's definitely easier to find two of something online than it is in store. I also like Old Navy. They have really nice, comfortable leggings in this cotton fabric with a cute little ruffle butt. These are in size 12 to 18 month. I just ordered the size up in some other leggings. They grew out of these really fast, so I wish I would have just skipped this size and gone up to the next. I also like Cat and Jack leggings from Target. Again, these run small, so I would order up a size in these, but really comfortable fabric. And then these are Baby Zara. I love Zara leggings. They are so nice. These ones are amazing. These are in the size 12 to 18, and I feel like Zara are pretty true to size. Like. These would fit them. I think I put them on uh, like a week ago and they were a little bit too big for them then. So um, these are like an oatmeal color with these maroon stripes, but these are just so adorable. Next, I wanted to show you their cribs. These are from Pottery Barn and they are in the cloud color, which is kind of a light gray. When I got these, I thought they were going to be more white, but it worked out fine that it was a little bit more gray. But I got these in particular because I knew since we have such a small room for the girls that they were gonna be right next to each other. And I wanted the little spindles to be open on either side so they could see each other because a lot of cribs, you know, are the solid wood right there. So there weren't a ton to choose from that were like this and I wanted them to be kind of simple and just clean looking. So I really like them. These are on the lowest setting when we first got them, obviously we had them on the highest setting and then after we put it to the middle setting, it quickly went down to the lowest one because all of a sudden they could stand and yeah, we just thought better safe than sorry. So we really love these. I think they're really high quality material and I would definitely recommend them. The last thing I wanted to share are these swaddle blankets. These are from the company Little Unicorn. I use these for so many things. You can obviously swaddle your babies with them, but you can use them for blankets. You can use them as a burp cloth. If you're taking you know, your baby somewhere and just wanna have a blanket just in case they spit up or something, they really work for so many things. And I use them way more often than I ever thought I would. So they have different types. These are the deluxe muslin, so they're a little bit thinner, but the material is super soft. And then these ones are just a little, they feel more like cotton. So either one, this is like the same as this one, uh, but I love all the prints, like how cute are these two? So we take these with us everywhere. I always have one in the car or in my diaper bag, so I would definitely recommend these. Here is the heavier blanket. It's kind of, I think it's called a quilt, and it's all light pink on one side and this really pretty watercolored floral print. So that is everything that I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys found this very helpful. I will have everything that I talked about linked down below for you. And if you have any other questions on just things that maybe I missed or questions you have on certain products, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to get back to you. And that is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.